Hi everyone, happy Thursday, happy first of the month, July 2020, or uh, 2021, that is, Tops Tier 1 Baseball coming at you. 12 box, pick your team, number 18. Very big thank you to everybody here for getting in on the action. Appreciate it. Eric Jennings with that last spot mojo star next to his name, 70% of the time. Last spot mojo hits 100% of the time. Thanks everyone for making this happen. No fillers on this as well, which I appreciate. There it is. That should be right. I hope. Let's find out. It's the right case. with hits. It's not coming out of the box. All right. One, two, three, four, five, six on either side to make 12. <clears throat> two autograph cards and one relic card inside. Sometimes we get an extra hit. There's usually a few bo couple boxes a case that will have an extra hit for you. Or sometimes it's three, but they're all autographs. We've seen that before too. All right, so there's the blank card where we'll hide the hits a little bit. We'll show you the relic first on the bottom and that's gonna be Nate Pearson. 21 out of 299 for the Blue Jays. Sean O with the Bluebirds. Your autograph, Alex Verdugo. Nice. 240 a former Dodger to 300. I think he's having a solid season. Alex Verdugo, Red Sox, that goes to Howard. And there's Joey Bart, 17 out of 25 for my rivals, the Giants. Chris Walker for the Giants. All right, nice start. Joey Bart, former number one overall pick. They're hoping he's a future Buster Posey. All right. We got Gary Sheffield, Florida Marlins edition. 115 out of 299, piece of his lumber. Probably inspired a whole generation of uh, of little leaguers attempting to do his his bat waggle thing until they realized their hands are not as fast as Gary Sheffield's hands. This is nice, Cabrian Hayes, thirty out of three hundred. By the way, the Gary Sheffield goes to John and the Marlins. The Cabrian Hayes Pirates that goes to Phil. Nice rookie autograph. And we've got Leody Tavares, 163 out of 300 for the Rangers. That's going to be for Eric Jennings. All right, next box. A jersey and auto on the top there. Got Jim Tome, 12 out of 299 
piece of his White Sox jersey going to Ryan Lynn. Ryan on the board. He's pretty good. Jim Tomei. On the bottom here is Luis Arreyes, 333 out of 399. Twins relic. That's going to go to Howard. And the jersey and auto is Keston Hira, 49 out of 100. A little bit of the Brewers pinstripe on that left side. Or on the right side, that is, in his autograph. That'll be for Sean O and the Brew Crew. Southern California kid. Ah, here's a four hitter. Two relics and should be two autos. Nice, little bonus. Thanks, Tops. We got Luis Garcia, 204 out of 299 for Mark and the Nats. Anthony Rizzo, 104 out of 299. John with the Cubs. Can anyone, can anyone tell me what team has never had a pinstripe in their uniform history? Hopefully I'm remembering this trivia correctly. There's Michael Brousseau, 254 out of 300. Tampa Bay Rays, that goes to Carl. And next autograph, Nate Pearson, 95 out of 200. For the Blue Jays, Sean O. What team has never had pinstripes in their primary uniform, I would say? There could have been like a wacky alternate, but I'm talking about their primary home road jerseys. No pinstripes ever in their history. One hundred and one out of two ninety nine, Kettle Marte. No one wants to venture a guess. Is everyone like furiously googling right now? Kettle Marte, going to the Snakes. Michael with the Diamondbacks. TJ is going to venture a guess. No, well, it might be no, but I think no. There's Nick Heath and the Royals. Two uh, two eighty one out of three hundred. Someone will have to fact check me on the uh, on this trivia, but I'm sure it's only one team. And in my head, in my head, I've got that team in my head. It's not the Cardinals, I don't think. It's Davey Garcia to 300. Uh, Nick Heath, by the way, Royals. Josh Exline with the Royals. Davey Garcia, Yankees. Jimmy Connell. Anyone want to venture? A guess or two. Ooh, a book? A book? One stripe does not... Uh, no, I don't think that counts. Like a stripe around the neck doesn't count. Traditional pinstripes. And a book alert. 110 out of 300, Tim Hudson, Oakland A's, Tyler. No, not the Tigers. Uh, Tyler, A with the A's. Austin Nola, 24 out of 25, gold ink autograph for the Friars. That's going to go to Michael.
and the book. Whoa. It's a 2021 Tier 1 Baseball Dual Autograph Relic Book Card. If it's the same team, one person will be very happy. If they're different teams, it's a randomizer. One happy person, one sad person. They're both Royals. Brady Singer and Salvador Perez. Nice three color patch and auto for Brady Singer. Nice two, I'll give it two colors, two colors. And an autograph Salvador Perez and the, the book is eight out of 10. Nice, that's the X line and the Kansas City Royals. Nice. I'm going to set that aside right there. We'll find a slider box for it. Salvador Perez having a pretty great season. I think he's got like 15 plus home runs already. No, not the Giants. The question, if you're just joining us, the question is, what team has never had pinstripes in their uniform, in their home uniform? Or away, I guess, but usually away jerseys are. In their main uniforms, what team in their history has never had pinstripes? The Orioles have had pinstripes in their history at some point. 169 out of 2 I have one team in my head that I... I Hopefully I got this trivia right. I got one team in my head. And ho hopefully it's right. Dodgers actually did have pinstripes for like one season in like the 30s or something like that. There's Ryan Mountcastle, Last Spot Mojo, Eric Jennings. No, Tampa Bay Rays had pinstripes when they were the Devil Rays, I'm almost certain. There's Garrett Crochet for the White Sox. They obviously have pinstripes. No, Diamondbacks had pinstripes too. Thomas, I think early 2000s, maybe in their World Series year. This is for the White Sox, Ryan Lind, with an autograph now. And there's Dylan Carlson for the Cardinals, 4 out of 25. I don't remember Cardinals with pinstripes, but maybe they're a team. But I have one. They've had them? Okay, so Boss Man's saying that Cardinals definitely did have pinstripes at one point in their, their history. That Dylan Carlson is a nice autograph. That goes to uh, the X-Line, Josh X-Line with the Redbirds. There's Corey Seager and the Dodgers, 64 out of 299. Bo Burrows, Tigers. That's going to be for Paul K. Corey Seager, Daniel Katz, by the way, gets the Corey Seager relic. A minor setback for Corey Seager, but hopefully he'll be back soon. And an Alice Kirloff, 16 out of 25, gold ink autograph for the Twins. Howard with the Twinkies. Twin Twins. All right, four boxes left, ladies and gentlemen. There's Hyunjin Ryu. Out of 299, piece of his jersey going to the Blue Jays, Sean O. Oh. Jose Canseco, 63 out of 300, Oakland A's. It'll be for Tyler. Tyler A and the A's. There's Casey Mize, nice rookie autograph for the Tigers, Paul K. 
former number one overall pick, having a pretty solid season. As a Rays fan, you don't recall any pinstripes? I think it was early 2000s. I think like, I feel like Wade Boggs, Devil Rays jersey, had pinstripes. There, no, maybe not. There were pinstripes somewhere. Yeah, there's Devil Ray's pinstripes. Hey, Eric Jennings. Nice. The Royals. Now, now, someone has to fact check me on this. There could be another team or two, but I'm, I'm, I'm fairly certain that the only team that has never incorporated pinstripes into their main home away uniform, Kansas City Royals. I don't know the first team to actually incorporate pinstripes in history, Mike. But yeah, the Kansas City Royals have never incorporated pinstripes into their main uniform. Ooh, one of one. Didi Gregorius for the Phillies. That's a piece of his bat. Limited lumber relic. That's awesome. Is this going to go into a, a top loader? And this might have to go into a slider box. Who has the Phillies? That's for Harry. That's nice, Harry. That's really awesome. You can almost see, see the curve on the bat as well. Wow, that's super sharp. Harry, out of fives and under, get the train whistle. All aboard the Big Hit Express. Woo woo! And 16 out of 199, Pee Wee Reese. No, Matt P is saying Rays never had pinstripes? All right, so maybe maybe there's a second team there. Royals definitely for sure, so perhaps Rays mixed in that trivia as well. But I think that's it. Nice Pee Wee Reese, piece of his lumber. Going to Daniel and the Dodgers. And we got a Greg Maddox gold ink autograph. Out of 25. Nice. 23 out of 25 for John and the Cubs. Two boxes to go. Right, Greg Maddox, Mad Dog, The Professor, as someone's called. I think he's had a number of complete game shutouts with under 100 pitches. Extremely great. Extremely great control for Greg Maddox. All right. Last couple of boxes. We got Andrew McCutcheon, piece of his lumber, 29 out of 299. For the fighting Phils, another one for Harry. And we got Gio Urshela, 179 out of 300. I feel like he didn't get the instructions to actually sign the card, maybe not print his name. Jimmy with the Yankees gets the Gio Urshela. More Phillies, Alec Bohm. Seven out of 25. Harry with the Phillies. Nice break for the Phillies. 
and the final box. All right, good luck, everybody. Let's pick your team number 18. Keep your eye out for more in the store on jaskyscasebreaks.com. There's Derek Jeter, 004 out of 299. There's a famous pinstripe in there. Jimmy and the Yankees. Game used. And the last two autographs is Kyle Hendricks, 152 out of 300. John and the Cubs. And last but certainly not least, it's going to be Johnny Bench, 12 out of 25. Reds. Nice one for Cincinnati. Ethan Cook. We're on to Cincinnati. And there you have it. Thanks, everybody. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. 2021 Tier 1 Baseball in the books. Thanks for watching. Thanks for breaking with us. And I'll see you next time for the next one. Bye-bye.